Welcome to the video. We've got a wheels deal here. Wheelie good deals. Let's turn the flush on. The old S-Works SL7 background. World's heaviest time hack ever. SL7 slugfest. No wonder Remco's struggling in the Enduro. I would be too if I'd run a disc brake tarmac. Give the boy an SL1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or rim brake options and it'll be back to normal. Anyway, this is the deal here. It's Reval. A uh, Reval branded wheel set. Got this today from Nick. Off of Facebook, thanks for the deal, Nick. 50 bucks. Advertised price, 50 bucks. We didn't even haggle. It was just 50 bucks. Thanks for coming. It's a DT Swiss, sort of 240 style internals there. Um, a shallow section rim. Looks like 32, 30 spokes in the rear. Also got 10 2 cross and uh, 20 on the, on, on the dry side there. So about, yeah, that's an interesting setup. Um, also the eyelets are inside the rim. I should say the the... The nipples are inside the rim there, and uh, just got little plugs for that taken care of. It is 50 bucks for the pair. 50 bucks for the pair, just lean against the bike. Actually, it's still wait. It's still waiting. Just wait. Watch the paint. Watch the paint. Yes, works. Broiler. Get that off. Here we go. All right, broiler, you can you can uh, guide this. Yeah, have a sniff. All right, let's check how much this bad boy weigh. You take a dump out here. On camera, so it's around eight, eight ninety for the rear. So pretty decent. It's got to be about a 1500, 1550 gram wheel set. And then when we go to the front, it's the front hub. So we're talking around what's that? Fifteen fifty, fifteen sixty for the wheel set. Fifty bucks for the pair. And we've got DT Swiss two forty internals in here. Isn't that fantastic? Um, and cosmetically very very sound. Yeah, heaps of life left. Well, that rim surface is almost brand new. These are from 2009. All right, so they are. I do have a little bit of surface corrosion on there, which is going to be fine. That's got no issue. The bearings, smooth as smooth. DT Swiss bearing. Yeah, you can pop them out, press some new ones in. We don't need to do that because these are fantastic condition already. Uh, straight pull spoke, it looks like. Straight pull spokes. Uh, so not too hard to get spares for. If you've got bladed spokes, you can use bladed or round. doesn't really matter. As long as they're just compatible, with the same length, etc. So it's like a twenty, so like twenty on the front, twenty spokes in the front. I like with the disc wheel, you're gonna have more spokes, aren't you? Pretty much, and you've got that pizza cutter there, so it's not as aero for road racing, except for some of this would be fantastic. I would prefer these. Here we go. This is, this is pretty cool, isn't it? Revals from 20, 2009 versus Revals in twenty twenty one. I would prefer these fifty dollar ones. Fifty dollar ones perform better. They're, these actually lighter. These ones here are lighter. Packages there. The ones we got for fifty bucks today are lighter than the ones that retail for seven hundred hundred dollars Aussie. You know, isn't it amazing? Same internals, DT Swiss quality. Those rims, is carbons are very good quality. They're just heavier because they got a lot of spokes and the little pizza cutter there. Isn't that amazing? What you get for your money these days? Fifty bucks. People say that you know disc brakes are good because you don't wear away your carbon rims. How much are you paying for carbon rims? <laughs> How much are you paying for rims in general? I'm paying 50 bucks for a pair of top-end alloy wheels. 50 bucks for the pair in mint condition. How much are you paying? So there you go. That's this little deal there. 50 bucks. Where are the deals? They're on Facebook. They're on Gumtree. Getting quick, getting early. And they're there. They're definitely there. Is someone's book is sitting here a bit loose. So it's set burring. So what you want to do is get a file and just file it off and it's good as new. It's good as new. And because this is a DT Swiss, you could put a 11 spit on there or whatever if you wanted to. You might have to do a bit of dishing, but otherwise, 10 spit offs to run 10 spit a little more bikes. So if you do, if you do find that burring, uh, see that says burring like that? So that would reduce the market value for most people, but for me, it doesn't matter because I just get a file and file it off. If you're using any SRAM, one piece cassettes also the test cover. Just make sure you put, put your cassette on there tight enough. If the cassette's loose, it'll start to cut in like that. You can also get a, a staple, a long industrial staple, and just slide it in there, and that will prevent the cutting as well. A lot of hub manufacturers these days, like Bitex, etc., Novatech, will put a little uh, metal sleeve in there, steel sleeve to prevent the biting in there. Anyway, just a little quick tip. Bangs on these, still fine. 